All right, so you know Courtney and I love a good cocktail every now and then, and our next guest always delivers when it comes to quick and easy drinks. He calls himself America's CEO, that's Chief Entertaining Officer, and just in time for St. Patrick's Day tomorrow, he's got some tasty recipes to help us celebrate at home. Hello, Derek and Courtney. It's good to be back with you again, and I have some great ideas for an Irish brunch that you can do any time of day. And the stars of this show are corned beef, potatoes, and Irish whiskey. And I'm always looking for good spirits, and I found this incredible Fighting 69th Irish whiskey. And this is actually a nod to the 69th Regiment, who has led the St. Patrick's Day Parade in New York for over 170 years. And it makes great cocktails. So it's brunch. You want to start out with a little Irish coffee, ounce and a half of the 50, the Fighting 69th Irish whiskey, topped with a little coffee, and then I put some whipped cream, and then I found this green sugar in the baking section of the store. Just sprinkle a little bit of that on top. Very festive. Then I was looking at a line. They have this drink called the Fighting Mule. So since it's St. Pat's, I'm going to have the pot of gold cocktail, kind of a, uh, uh, a play on the pot of gold that's at the end of the rainbow uh, that the leprechaun has. So here's how it goes. Starts out a little glass of ice, ounce and a half of the fighting 69th Irish whiskey goes in just like that. Then we're going to top it with a little bit of ginger beer, uh, which gives it a nice refreshing flavor. And then a quick squeeze of lime. Boom, just to freshen that up. And then for the gold, I've actually soaked some golden raisins with the Irish whiskey. And that's going to be my topper. And there it is, the pot of gold cocktail. So as they say in Ireland, sluncha. Mmm, fantastic. Now for some brunch food ideas. I love this. This is green eggs and ham crostinis. Starts out with a little toasted crostini, put a little slice of ham on in that, and then the green eggs. And how I made this was uh, four eggs in a blender, add a cup of spinach, blend it all up, scramble it, and what a nice little treat this is, individual servings. Then I have these Irish Reuben bites. These are delicious, easy to make. Again, I cut these into single uh, serve pieces, starting out with flatbread. I put on a little bit of Swiss cheese that gets toasted, and then a little bit of Irish mustard, which is just basically your favorite Dijon mustard with a little bit of the Irish, uh, the Fighting Irish uh, 69th whiskey. And then a little sauerkraut and corned beef, roll that up and slice them into individual bites. Really delicious. Now, how about a great side? Green mashed potatoes, very easy. I don't know if you was a kid, uh, when you got mashed potatoes and peas on your plate, if you mix them up, they actually taste even better. So what this is, you make a little pea puree in your blender, and then add that to your mashed potatoes, stir it up, and you have these wonderful green mashed potatoes. Or you can actually serve these on top of Irish stew uh, that you can buy at the store. So fun, easy serve ideas for a great Irish brunch. There you all go. Slunch, everybody. Enjoy responsibly. Slunch. Uh, very nice, right. Tim Laird. And here we are back in Studio B. Vanessa, you have the mocktail version. I do have a mocktail, okay? So this is something you could drink on St. Patrick's Day if you're driving, don't want to be irresponsible, right? Yeah, so, just ginger beer yeah. and lime, right? You can add that lime if you want okay. to. So I've got the pot of gold that Tim told us how to make. This is whiskey, ginger beer. I'm going to squeeze it with a little lime. And then the very special little secret ingredient here... I guess it, that's why it's called the pot of gold is because of these raisins. They do look like a pot of gold. Yeah, they kind of do. So these are just those white raisins that have been soaked in the whiskey. So I'm going to add a few of those. Yummy. And I guess the longer you soak them, the stronger they become, right? right? So here we go. Moment of truth. How is your mocktail? I like it. Mm. Refreshing. Ooh, mine also refreshing. This is very Packs refreshing. And it looks like my favorite drink, which is... Uh, Tito's soda with a lime, but th th that's that's what it looks like. It looks like it has alcohol in it, but this is the virgin version. 
And it's really good. What about you? Tito soda with lime. That's very Texan of you. Mine is also <laughs> delicious. I love the flavor of a ginger yeah, beer as well. Yeah, me too. The raisins add some excitement too. So in case you want to make these yourself, we have shared these St. Patrick's Day brunch recipes on our website, HoustonLife.tv. Very nice. Cheers. All right. Yeah. Cheers. Let's have one more. Cheers. Mm, there you go.